Hello everyone. So today I decided to pick up rotisserie chicken and I'm going to make chicken salad sandwiches for a late lunch, early dinner. This is great for packing lunches, making the day before, picnic lunches, especially since the weather is hot. Here we go. Okay, chicken salad sandwiches. Let me show you the fresh ingredients that I'm gonna put into the chicken salad. I think that's important because there are so many variations out there. For today, I'm using part of a red bell pepper, just a quarter of this, a small piece. I have two celery sticks. I have like, just, I'm gonna shred this carrot. This is like a medium to small carrot, I'll shred it. And I have, ooh, I have four scallions. Um, the green and the white tops are gonna be chopped up and it's gonna go into my chicken salad sandwich. I know there are so many variations of how people make chicken salad sandwiches or just chicken salad in general. I have like three or four recipe videos on my channel. Today, I'm just going for fresh. Also, I've shredded the chicken. I've actually eaten some of it. <laughs> but I've taken my kitchen shears and I chopped it up. If you want this uh, for crackers, like a chicken salad with crackers, you can pulse the chicken in a food processor. That makes it a lot easier to work with if you are using this kind of like a chicken salad dip. So I'm ready to put everything together. In a large bowl, I'm gonna add all of the shredded and chopped chicken. Like I stated earlier, pulse it through a food processor. Okay, so I'm gonna break it apart. And now I'm gonna add all of my finely chopped fresh veggies. Add what you like. Sometimes I like to do the grapes and pecans. Here I'm gonna add my mayo and just add things to your preference. Start with a half cup, work your way up from there. I'm probably gonna end up adding close to a full cup. It just depends. Salt to taste, and I'm also gonna add pepper to taste. Sometimes I like to add smoked paprika into the mix or onion powder. Like I said, a lot of the seasonings and ingredients are up to you. I'm just showing you what I'm making today. And this is just one of the many ways I love to make chicken salad. I even do this with tuna fish. Okay, so once this is combined, give it a taste. I can tell I'm going to want more mayo. Like I stated earlier, add the ingredients to your preference. This is the greatest part about making tuna fish or chicken salad sandwiches or chicken salad. It really is eyeballing and two preferences. So once this is completely combined, you can cover this and refrigerate it for a couple of hours to let it kind of marry together. I'm serving it right away. But if you do make this ahead of time, it is great the next day. So for the sandwiches today, I am using a wheat bread. Use what you like. Honestly, this is just what I like to do today. So I'm going to add some of this chicken salad. I'm going to add a little more cracked black pepper. That's your choice. Sometimes I like to add crushed red pepper flakes. Here I'm adding fresh tomato. And I'm going to go with some fresh cucumber. Pickles are an option or don't add any of this. Just the chicken salad with the bread is so good. Here some lettuce. And this is the sandwich today. By the way, I love cucumbers on sandwiches. So I'm going to make several more of these and it's time to dig in and take a look at this. It's perfect. Be sure to check the description below and I will link my other chicken salad sandwich recipes, especially the one with like the pecans or walnuts with grapes. It's so good. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.